Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 review stuff. And I'm back for another review. Look at my hair today. <laughs> this is my, fr uh, my cousin. Her name is Darlene Jolene Joe, And she's 50 and she likes to kick. <laughs> and I just woke up and I was like, I don't even want to go get a cup of coffee yet. I just want to sit on the front porch and I want to read my meditations. I've already taken the dogs outside and I just want to relax for a little bit <laughs> before I get my day started. Where for me to go and get my coffee is like, <laughs> it takes a lot of effort for me to get up and actually go and get my coffee. So I was like, I'm just going to make a cup of coffee in the kitchen. And then I was, and I, this was all like happened to me. See, always thinking, always thinking. This happened to me while I was laying in bed. I was thinking about all this. And then I was like, oh, well, this will be a reason to get out of bed. <laughs> See? Because down in my kitchen, I still had this gift that I was given from Michael at Pathology. Okay, now, if you don't know who Michael is, Michael and I did a video on my vlog channel. We also did a video on um, my Peter Mon channel. And Michael is a vlogger here in Indianapolis. And he started... He's one of the nicest guys in the entire world. He started, I'm looking down at my my hot water kettle right here. Anyway, he started the Peter Mon Vlog Challenge, which um, was where he vlogged every day for like 30 days. And he has continued to vlog every day since then. So anyway, I love Michael so much. And um, he's just like one of the nicest guys in the entire world. Well, I was watching his vlog the other day, and he had given me these... Um, these coffee like tea bags okay and they're from like a tinker coffee company which i think there's actually a tinker coffee company here in indianapolis but he um was showing them in not this i think it was a different brand actually he was showing them because this is from conduit hold on a second or is that the flavor conduit oh i need my reading glasses on uh this is conduit seasonal blend steeped coffee bag okay so he was showing these steeped coffee bags in his vlog the other day, and I was like, I never did do a review of the steeped coffee bags. I also never did a review of the pocket latte chocolate bar that he got me. Isn't this so cool? And this is ready to eat coffee, cream and sugar. Oh my God, look at that, okay. And uh, this square equals one coffee. A 100 to 120 milligrams of natural caffeine. No artificial sweetener, flavors, preservatives, caffeine, or colors. Gluten-free, soy-free, all natural. Um, and it has 150 calories in it. 10 grams of fat. Okay, so, and 1 gram of protein. So, you probably wouldn't want to eat this for your proteins. I'm just saying, okay? But anyway, then he also, like I said, he gave me these uh, Tinker, uh, Tinker Coffee Company steeped bags. So, I'm going to, he gave me three of them. I'm going to show these today on here, and I have one of my favorite cups uh, from Crate and Barrel so that I can show you guys how this works. So here are the directions. i take the uh, thing out. I'm hoping that the water is done by then because I'm ready for my coffee. Oh, you know what? I got to tell you guys a couple things, first of all. Well, here, I'll just read you the instructions, and then we'll wait for the, the hot water to be ready. It says, uh, from the Latin word, conducer meaning bring together conduit brings together seasonal coffees to produce a bright clean and balanced flavor profile place filter in cup and grace and gradually pour over eight ounces of hot water um, per steeped bag so here's what the steeped bag looks like and i'm going to take this and i'm going to there you go i will also link michael's vlog in the comment section below um, so you guys can go check it out uh, okay, dunk the bag for 15 to 30 seconds or longer for added strength. Oh, much. <laughs> I can just tell it's going to be one of those days. I'm going to need to add much longer than that. Okay, leave steeped bag in cup or until preferred taste. Drink after five plus minutes. Okay, well, we might have to do a little sooner than all that because it's a video. We ain't trying to make everybody wait all that long. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to let you guys come with me while I pick out my cup du jour today from Starbucks. Are you ready? Oh, my God. This is the most exciting part of the day, isn't it? Well, if I put you there, you're going to fall. Hold on a second. Put you right there. You know what's so funny is you're on my cup right now that says, 
I'm YouTube famous now. Okay, and it's the truth too, so don't even worry about it. Just tell people that and they'll believe it. Okay, what cup should I use today? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to use this beautiful pink cup today. Or no, you know what? I'm feeling very Halloween-y today. Oh, my cups are all falling. So I'm going to use the black. Oh, my God, my water's ready. I'm going to use the black cup. And then look, I have all of my straws in my mason jars and all I have to do is pick out the right straw for the day. So I need a black straw to go with this. There we go. There's my coffee cup for the day. Then I'm going to go to Starbucks and get my coffee here in this little bit. Okay. You guys are going to think, you're going to be so jazzed about I want to show you something. Look at that! Oh my god, isn't that the coolest? Okay. So. What did it say? To dunk it 10 or 15 times? Something like that. Okay, hold on a second. Dunk the bag for 15 to 30 seconds or longer for added strength. Okay. One, two, three. I'm not real good with time. I don't want to set a timer on the microwave or anything. So we'll just kind of, oh, I'll just look at the camera thing and see what time it is. So let me tell you two things that happened, okay? First of all, Crumble Cookies reached out to me. Now, if you haven't noticed, Crumble Cookies has been um, commenting on all my videos and tweeting me and stuff like that. They love my reviews. Oh my God. And I love Crumble Cookies so much. So they reached out to me and they were like, can we send you a, a swag bag? And I was like, are you kidding me? Of course we could. And they sent me here. Okay, that's been 30 seconds. So I'm going to let it just sit there now for um, four minutes and a half. What's four minutes? I said four minutes and a half. <laughs> um, but anyway, the other thing, um, uh, they sent me a really nice note and they said like, that several of the people that watch my videos, like I like my other channels have really helped them and stuff like that. Wasn't that so nice? They it was the nicest message in the entire world. Okay, but, but are you guys ready? I got another message from somebody very high up at Fazoli's that was very apologetic for the fact that my mozzarella skewers did not come on skewers, okay? And that they were in fact supposed to come on skewers, <laughs> that they were supposed to be on the sticks. And they were very apologetic for the, the wait time and everything like that, of which I said, don't even worry about it. It was just like, listen, it's fast food. I was just joking in the video and all that kind of stuff. But I was really uh, like interested in the fact of, that they were advertising that they were supposed to be on skewers, and they weren't. So, um, he asked me if I wanted to do the review again. <laughs> I think they're going to send me, like, a gift card so I can do the review again if I want to. So, if you would like me to do the mozzarella skewers review again, put it in the comment section below and let me know. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, okay, so, I don't know that I'm going to wait five minutes for this, but I guess I kind of have to, don't I? To do, like, a really an honest review on what this tastes like. Okay, so I still have, like, three minutes left, I think. Three and a half minutes left. So I'm going to stop this, and then I will be back when it's been five minutes. Okay. Okay, I'm back. And I did, in fact, set an alarm, so it's going to be going off here in just a second. And I'm going to try the coffee uh, black first, and then I'm going to try it with one sweet and low, which is typically how I take my coffee at home. Can I show you? Um, oh, I was going to show you. Well, uh... I'll do that in my next video. I'll do that in my next review video. So to give you something, a little mystery for you guys to wait for. A little mystery. Now, get ready, because we're going to dance in the kitchen. Five, four, three, two, and one. Doing the robot at the end. Okay. Woo! Oh, look. The mail's here. Okay. That's something exciting for my day. I can go get the mail. So let's get this out of here. All right. I'm very excited to try. Oh, I just spilt the coffee everywhere. Hold on. Let me get the towel. Very excited to try this. Cheers. Smells really good.
It's not super, like I really like a strong, strong, strong cup of coffee. I mean, it's not bad, um, but like if I was in a restaurant and I got served this coffee, I would definitely say that it was watered down. I gotta be like, this is a watered down cup of coffee. So maybe it just needs to be steeped longer. Is there a fly in here? Did a fly go by? Oh my lord. <laughs> but I steeped it for like six minutes. Um, it's not bad. I mean, it's it, it's not bad. Um, it, it tastes kind of like instant coffee to me a little bit. Which, you know, all of these things kind of do taste a little bit like instant coffee. Um, which isn't horrible or anything like that. Why did I bring a fork out here? Um, I just like trying diff new different coffee things. You know what I mean? Okay, here's the sweet, with a sweet and low. Now it tastes like tea. I'm gonna give these, I'm gonna give them a three and a half out of five. Like I really, they're not very strong at all. And I don't think that it would matter if I kept it in there a whole lot longer. I don't think that would make a huge difference, but I do wanna show this, that Lindsay from Ohio, she sent me a Starbucks cup Look at that. Isn't it so pretty? And it says Ohio all over and everything. I love it so much. So, Lindsay, thank you for this. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a three and a half. Like, it's not bad. Like, I'm not going to throw it out. I'm going to keep on drinking it. And I will use these. I think they're kind of fun. Uh, what I will save them for is, like, a, when a friend comes over, doing it like, you know, having a little coffee on the patio or something like that because it'll make a little fun thing. And I'm actually going to save the chocolate for that, too. So... Um, I don't know. It was a really nice gift, and it was fun to try something different. I just don't know that I would use it regularly. You know what I mean? Obviously not. Between, like, a pot of coffee and a Keurig, um, which makes really strong coffee. So, anyway, let me know what you think about all of that in the comment section below. Have you bought these, like, uh, tea bag coffee things before? If so, I don't know. I didn't even do a, um, a thumbnail. I need a thumbnail, don't I? Hold on a second. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.